Today, as it does every day, West Farmers will touch the lives of millions of Australians. It will sell essential products and services to more than 2.5 million customers. It will provide employment to over 200,000 people and contribute to the livelihood of more than 17,000 business owners. It will market the produce of Australian farmers, give back to the community through donations and partnerships, and deliver satisfactory returns for 500,000 shareholders. And in doing so, it will continue to build the company that was started by a group of farmers 100 years ago. West Farmers has announced plans to spin off its coal supermarket chain into a separate company. Nine's finance editor Ross Greenwood joins me now. Ross, good morning to you. What is the reason behind this move? Well, it's interesting to see it. Basically, Coles is not growing fast enough for West Farmers. That's the bottom line of it all, uh, because West Farmers also owns uh, other businesses like Kmart. It also owns Officeworks. It owns Bunnings Warehouse, which are growing much faster. The demerger will allow West Farmers greater flexibility to pursue growth opportunities, while leaving Coles well positioned to continue to grow with an earnings profile that is expected to be resilient through economic cycles. Following the demerger, West Farmers will continue to be one of Australia's largest listed companies. In addition to the wholly owned businesses in our portfolio, West Farmers will retain a number of other non-controlling interests, including a 15% stake in Coles that will support strategic alignment and reinforce collaboration opportunities in the areas of data, digital and loyalty, particularly through the flybys business. West Farmers' dividend policy will remain unchanged, as will its corporate objective, to deliver satisfactory returns to shareholders over the long term. For the last 35 years, we've said in our annual report that while we have a corporate objective of providing satisfactory returns to shareholders, we, we can only do that if we look after the interest of all stakeholders the interest of employees, the interest of customers, of suppliers, acting honestly and ethically in everything we do, looking after the environment and contributing to the communities in which we work and operate. In this year's sustainability report you'll see some pretty ambitious targets for things like uh, carbon emission reduction, employee safety statistics and so on. Blowingly stupid is the phrase that West Farmers Chief Executive Richard Goiter has used to describe the actions of employees involved in an accounting scandal. The scandal centres on West Farmers discount department store Target. West Farmers revealed employees inflated Target's earnings by $21 million by fiddling with rebate deals with international suppliers. Target boss Stuart Matkin resigned on Friday but denies he knew about the deals. West Farmers is taking action against the employees involved. Mining has been a significant primary industry in Australia, playing a vital role in the economy since the 1800s. Over 150,000 square kilometres of Australia's land surface, or more than twice the size of Tasmania, is directly impacted by mining, which has resulted in substantial land disturbances and environmental damage. A West Farmers owned company has admitted to underpaying nearly 6,000 staff by around $15 million over the last decade. Nearly 2,000 current staff members and 4,000 Australian staff members have been affected by the underpayments which have been going on since 2010. Preliminary estimates put the total unpaid sum to $15 million, half of which is unpaid super on loadings and allowances. The official figure could be even higher as West Farmers continues to validate the data, 